Okay, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so I've now had my first three shifts back at work um, and I've got one more shift tomorrow and that will be my first week back at work done. Um, it's been interesting. It's um, it's different and the same at the same time, if that makes sense. Uh, so there are lots of new things that we now have to do and be aware of. Um, and it's, it, yeah, it very much feels like being back at work. Like I got towards the end of my first shift and it felt, it feels like there hasn't been four and a half months um, of not working in between. Having said that, I'm not feeling really drained by it yet, um, and I've also managed to exercise. <laughs> uh, so the exercise that I was doing, I'm now doing a shorter amount of it after work, <laughs> um, just so that I'm still sort of doing it. Um, and at the moment, I still just about, I mean, even though it's been really hot, it's been so hot, um, I'm still sort of doing it and keeping up and enjoying it because um, I, f I feel like it's, it's beneficial enough and it's going to help me lose that, that little bit of extra weight a little bit faster as well, which I definitely need to do in order to fit a little bit more comfortably into my work too. Um, the thing is, I don't know if it's going to be that visible. Uh, I can kind of see it a little bit there, but because I do have to wear wrist supports and we're having to wash our hands a lot more, the water is getting trapped underneath my wrist supports along with soap and I'm allergic to the soap. <laughs> so that sitting on my skin for a, for a large amount of time has actually caused uh, actually quite a lot of, I mean, you can't, let's see if I can get it so you can see what I'm talking about, but it's really hard to tell. Yeah, you can see it a little bit there. Yeah. So that's not great, and it's itching like absolute crazy. I mean, like, um, I got up in the middle of, in the middle of last night, so it was just so uncomfortably itchy, and I I'm going to see if I can get some something to help relieve the itching today. Um, I'm both going <laughs> to pick up some antihistamines um, to sort of act that. That can sometimes help when I'm when I'm feeling pretty itchy. Um, I'm just going to pick up some lotions and stuff. Um, though those can be a bit hit and miss because they can feel on the skin and feel heavy and hot on the skin, which doesn't doesn't necessarily help. Um, so I'm not really sure what the best long-term solution for that is because I need the wrist supports and I also need washing my hands. And um, yeah, it, it's so difficult to dry underneath, especially like under the thumb area. Um, so yeah, and that literally, that one shift, one, one, one shift. Um, and I woke up, so my, my first shift was on Wednesday. I woke up Thursday morning and my wrists were itchy and I looked and that they, they were already they were already this bad. Um, so I'm not really sure what I can do um, about that going forward because as I said it's just so hard, especially with like the paper towels. It's my, my my skin isn't particularly absorbent anyway, so like moisturizers and stuff just sits on my skin, it doesn't absorb properly, um, which is why it, which is why I find moisturizers actually tend to make my skin feel hotter rather than cooler. <laughs> Cause they just sit and they don't they don't actually do anything. Um I did I did coat it with the pseudocrim this morning and pseudocrim is one of the ones which I find is the worst. Anyway, it's not a very absorbent moisturizer to begin with. It sits on the skin. Uh, like the only way to get it off is like soap and wash it off. So before I apply anything else later I'm going to like very properly wash off the, the silicone which is still sort of on top of my skin and, and, and yeah and I know that it is because I've, I've been soaking my soaking my skin <laughs> soaking my wrists uh, quite a bit this morning uh, just to try and 
just just for the coolness of it because like, it's not it's weird because it's not so bad when I'm in work because all of the the heat and and the moisture that is actually trapped there is keeping the skin in whatever state it needs to be in for it not to be itchy and the second my skin is like dry that's when it that's when it sort of becomes itchy but like I said for me moisturizers just sit on the top of the skin and make the skin feel hot rather than cool them down so although I'm going to try some uh, some different things to, to try and topically treat the itchiness whilst I'm at home um, what I really need is, is some way of, of making it stop whilst I'm in work um, but right now I don't know what the I don't know what the solution is um, because I, I, I know that although the supports I'm using at the moment aren't necessarily the best they do reduce the pain so they're not the, the ones I've got at the moment they don't uh, support and don't keep things sort of stationary like my previous ones which were a lot less hygienic um, do but they do sort of compress in order to reduce the amount of pain that you're getting so you're not stopping the the, the minor you know too much moving around injuries from occurring uh, especially with like the wrist because that um, stupid wrists um but you are reducing the amount of pain that you're experiencing with it whilst you're whilst you're sort of doing it so it's it's that's how they they work they work on the, the compression uh side of things rather than the um prevention side of things um so they they are quite good when i'm in work because they're easy to keep clean they're easy to keep hygienic which is like so 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 important right now but it also means I'm trapping moisture and water and soap, especially because my skin is so, so sensitive to soap as is. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what the best thing to do is. Um, and like a lot of the things that would actually treat my itchy skin, I'm actually allergic to. Like, um, so I've, I've done a little bit of research this morning and one of the things that you can use if your skin is dry and itchy is aloe vera. I'm allergic to aloe vera. <laughs> And um, I, I think I've mentioned this uh, on, on a vlog before, but um, the there was a thing of aloe vera hand wash, which is in my kitchen so that I don't use it. Um, so usually if I'm just washing my hands, I will go into the bathroom and wash my hands in there with the, the hand wash that's in there because it is uh, not containing aloe vera. Um, but I did like, for a while have the aloe vera one in the bathroom so I was like that was just where it had been put um I think my mum to put it in there and I was like looking at my hands and I was going why are my hands all dry and and red and and, and irritated and, and I was like oh hand wash all right yeah I'm allergic to aloe vera and it was something I was previously aware of um because uh back when I started and this is this is how I kind of found out that I was allergic to a lot of these things so I know that I'm definitely allergic to tea tree and I know I'm definitely allergic to, to aloe vera um because back when I started university I was trying some of the body works I, I, I had a bit of a breakout problem um and I'd had a, a lot of very teenage skin for a few years um and all of like the usual stuff that I was you know the the, the normal uh, spot be gone stuff um, wasn't working very well. So one of my friends was like, "Oh, why why not try some of the natural stuff from from the from the body shop? It will be so much better for your skin." Um, no, no, that's that's how I found out that I was definitely allergic to <laughs> to tea tree and to uh, to aloe vera and stuff like that. It made my skin like. A million times worse um so in the same vein i'm allergic to uh, anti-dandruff shampoos as well so it's, it's a good job i don't i don't actually get dandruff um although that that's more to do with um that there are alternative things that you can do if you do get a lot of dandruff um that does sort of help uh, with with that problem without having to use anti-dandruff shampoos and that's what I did a lot when I was younger I did have a little bit of dandruff when I was younger um, and I did eventually sort of sort that out without having to use the anti-dandruff stuff and so now my hair um, 
Well, good. So, don't have any dandruff. I'm I'm so allergic. Like head and shoulders can't use, cannot use. I'm so allergic to it. it like you know, spots are all around here and all around there. <laughs> yeah, I I have I have I think they refer to it as allergic dermatitis um, or contact dermatitis. But I'm allergic to certain types of metal. Um, so I'm not I'm not allergic to copper, which is. Good. That just turns my skin green, and I, and I know this because I used to wear like a lot of jewelry. Um, but I'm not allergic to copper, but I am allergic to brass, and I know this because I had this copper bracelet, um, and then I was given this brass one, um, not brass, bronze, bronze, brass. I don't know. It's one of yeah, no, I think it was brass. I think it was brass. It's it's. Whatever copper comes from, that or something that you can mix with copper, so there's copper in it, but it's got something else as well. So it's like copper is like the pure one, and this is like one of the um, one of the ores. I think ore is is the right word for it. Um, anyway, I ha I had that on, and and literally, um, literally within a couple of days, there was like a little little hole in my skin. From where it had been eaten through from from wearing this particular metal, uh, zinc is the same. I've had a few pieces of zinc jewelry, including a ring, and that again that has eaten through my skin because my skin is like just like no, what, what, this is this metal is highly toxic to you. What are you doing? Uh, and then it's not. It's not supposed to be highly toxic metal to you. They're not supposed to react to you like that. But no, no, they do. Um, like certain cheap jewellery, they have to be really careful with cheap jewellery because they, again, that can uh, that can eat through my skin. I'm, I'm doing there because that tends to be like the back of like necklaces. Quite often, will have like a, like if they've got like a inset thing in the front, they'll quite often have cheap jewellery in the back. Cheap jewellery, cheap metal in the back, and that will quite often. Um, I mean, there's a reason why I quite often you end up with like a little scar there. <laughs> um, why, why I quite often have a little mark there, it's because like in the past I've uh, a lot of the, the jewelry that I've been allergic to sort of like weakened the skin a little bit there I think um, so it's it's really annoying because I, I certainly when I was younger I did used to wear a lot of jewelry and I had lots of different ways of minimizing the contact that jewelry had with my skin so I could keep wearing the things that I like to wear um, so I had like a series of ribbons that I would like tie around my neck before putting my necklaces on which would stop the necklaces resting too much against the skin of my neck because that that used to have like so many rashes um, around that that was like terrible um, I used to wear like fingerless gloves um, which would prevent the bracelets from touching my skin couldn't do much about the ring, so if there was a, if there was a ring that I was allergic to, I just I would just have to start wearing it. It was there, there was no choice on that one because you know there was no way I, I wasn't wearing full full on gloves just to be able to wear rings and stuff. Oh, that would have been a bit ridiculous, but yeah. So so yeah, this this is is something that I'm capable of of treating, but I know. Because I'm in a situation where I'm not going to be able to reduce the triggering calls, um, I, I'm going to have to figure out a way of uh, trying to make it less, trying to make it less bad somehow. And it's not, it's not even just a case of water necessarily getting trapped in there because of because of all the all the hand washing and all the extra hand washing that I'm having to do. Um, because I'm I'm mostly going to be working in a station where I'm also going to have to wear gloves on top of uh, on top of my hands as well. That's especially at the moment where it's so hot that's creating a lot of a lot of heat and like you can literally feel how much your hands are sweating. So even if I found a solution of a better way of drying and in underneath after I've washed my hands, which I guess would reduce the soap contact which I think isn't helping the situation at the moment but you're still going to have the, the heat and the sweat anyway so you know it's, 
Uh, I I hate having skin allergies. I've 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 pretty much always had skin allergies. So like I said, I'm I'm fairly used to, to dealing with them. But this is like this is ridiculously itchy right now. Like to a point where I'm like I'm I'm gonna wrap this up so I can go to my food shop and, and buy myself some stuff to 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 make my skin more comfortable. Because like I literally can't stand how itchy my skin is at the moment. It is it is the worst. It is so bad, and it's it's being aggravated by the fact that it's so hot. Just in general, the last few days we we are in a bit of a heat wave at the moment um, in the UK, or, or we have been, it's still really hot in my, my, in my flat, but it's really good flat for, like in the, in some months it does retain heat really well, and you go outside and it's a lot cooler, um, but yeah, no, it's, it's so warm, certainly in my flat at the moment, that it's just, oh yeah, I need to, I need to, I need to, I need to go so I can, I can get it sorted, because it's just, it's too much, it's, it's terrible, and I hate it, and it's, so irritating i need to do something about it so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go do something about my skin now and i apologize this has been a very odd vlog topic um mostly talking about how irrit irritating my skin is and has been by various things in the past um but yeah no the most interesting kind of allergic reactions is when it literally eats through your skin and I'm kind of worried this is going to start doing that at, at some point. Maybe. Well, I'd rather it didn't. <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, hopefully I will figure out a way of sorting my, my, my skin issues before I do my next vlog. Um, I hope you guys have found this one sort of interesting, even if it's not necessarily the most interesting topic in the world. <laughs> And I will see you guys next time. See ya! <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!